All right, how's it going, everyone? Once again, this is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio with my trusted Starbucks. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. So, today, I'm going to be painting a, uh, one of these uh, awesome paintings of a sort of like a little cascade, a creek. Okay, so bear with me. Uh, let's make it super awesome. And if you guys have any questions or comments or, you know, any love, <laughs> leave it in the in the comment section below. Also, uh, share the video, share the love if you guys if you guys find any any uh, any value here. That would be uh, that would be awesome for me too. So, bam, there we go. I remember what I've said uh, before. For those of you who are looking at this stuff to learn a thing or two. Um, the, the trick is always the same. The trick is to be able to suspend the mind, okay? I know it sounds, for those of you who, are, who, who don't know uh, my method, I know it sounds a bit... Um, People are like, well, what are you talking about, man? I need to think. I need to, I need to, no, you don't. I need to think what I'm doing. Nope. That's actually the problem. <laughs> that's actually the problem. That's, that's the, for this kind of stuff, okay? I'm uh, talking about, uh, I know some, some, uh, some other artists who, who do different stuff, and, and that's fine, too. Everybody does different stuff. Talking about, we're talking about moi, you guys. I'm talking about moi. So in that light, it's all good. So I've been very, uh, I've been very fortunate, I think, lately. Um, to be able to, I've been working on some uh, commissions and preparing a show also. So I've been very, I've been very happy about that. That's uh, that's something awesome that's happening with me right now. Learning new stuff, uh, applying stuff that I have already learned. <laughs> that's a big one. <laughs> It's not always about learning, you guys. Uh, I, I, if, if I were to pinpoint it, there's, there should be more applying than learning. Uh, there's enough information already. So. There's always enough information. Cool like that, huh? Keeping it super, super mellow. You want to keep it mellow, you want to keep it awesome. Don't overthink it. Um, I like something that, that Monet uh, used to say. Monet, the, the, the painter, right? Well, what other Monet? Well, my son Monet, that's another Monet. <laughs> but uh, that's something I used to, I used to like, uh, a, a quote by him. But, he would say, um, he would say that, that he liked to paint as a bird sings. I, I've mentioned this before. How, uh, how does a bird sing, you know? Natural. I don't think he meant beautiful, that's, that's what I'm saying. Natural. Natural. What is natural? Well, look how uh, babies behave. That's natural. 
Look how um, yeah, an animal behaves. That's natural. Especially an animal that is not um, that is not it's not a, a domesticated, right? If it's domesticated, then the animal will pick up, mimic the the the, the behavior many times of the of the owner or the bird, the people living in the house. But if the animal is not domesticated, the animal acts natural. One of my favorite favorite animals to see every every chance I get is uh, birds. I love seeing them because um, they're all around, you know, and they're not they're not um, they're not domesticated like uh, you would see cats. Even alley cats or other cats seem to be even somewhat affected by the by the by the um, by humans, no, by the city, they, they seem to be to be uh, affected by that. Cats, right? Dogs. Um, but birds, if you like, they, they display. It's, it's attention. That's really what I'm talking about. It comes down to attention. And the more, the more you're able to practice that, especially when creating work, um, that's, that's why people talk about methods, you know? People keep talking about methods. Oh, the method of this, the method of that. Really, my belief in artwork, when somebody says, oh, I, uh, this is my method of painting. This is my technique, you know? Um, or this is the way I, I do things, or whatever. Really, what I, what I what I what I think of when I hear people saying that is, this is the way I learn how to observe. This is the way I learn how to how to um, how to pay attention. And and regardless of of what that is, then they share their. They're, um, it's inevitable, right? That they're going to have their own spin on it. That's something else. That's just part of the personality seeping through the vision, as I mentioned in other videos. That's, that's just the vision of the artist seeping through. That's not um, the way something looks, right? The way that the, the little spins and, and, and the, the je ne sais quoi. <laughs> that's the vision of the artist but that, that doesn't mean that that is the art the art is is, um, is the practice of, of serving and uh, the techniques and all that it's the means that the artist can recollect and say what did I do last time when I was doing this oh this is what I did this is, this is how I was able to observe The more the more the artist observes, the less diluted the artwork becomes, and it's just uh, it comes down to that. Sometimes little things that they're not so uh, careful because I mean. It's uh, another saying by Monet that I loved, which I forgot totally that I was going to tell you right now, is uh, patches of color, you know. And that's the way he learned, that's, I, I believe that that's why Impressionism came to be. Because he told probably himself, you know, how do I train my eyes to observe? How do I train myself to observe? Well, you know, don't dilute it. What are you looking at? You know, he went beyond the object. What are you looking at? I am looking at patches of color. There are only patches of color, by God, you know? There are only patches of color. That's all they are. And, and that's why he tells us that. You know, he tells us about... Or he told us, right? <laughs> that's spooky. He, told, he tells us. <laughs> but that's what he told us, you know? Look, 
you want to want to learn how to paint pay attention to it the way I learned I mean if I were money <laughs> how you say that look the way I learned was by just looking that's why uh, I don't remember who was it Sassan but I think it was Sassan that that referred to Monet as as a an eye. Monet is just an eye, something like that. I think it was a sun. And he said, but what an eye? Is it a sun or Monet? But they call him the eye. And I think it's because um, he was pure observation. He wasn't so much conceptual. His work wasn't so conceptual. It was, it was more observation. As where Gauguin's work, you know, someone like the post impressions Gauguin, his work was more conceptual. There was more there was there was more of that aspect in there, the conceptual aspect, which uh, I know I'm, th I'm throwing terms, but it just really means that there was more thought involved. There's more thinking. There's more, uh, maybe more, not necessarily maybe more thinking, maybe more more. Uh, um, it's, uh, something else beyond just observing. You know, there's another dimension happening there, and it's all good too. It's a, it's just a different way of doing it. But something else beyond just just uh, observing. So under that light, I leave you guys with that. I know this is not my my normal speed, but uh, my normal super super fast speed. But uh, sometimes I feel it. Sometimes I don't feel the need for speed. I love speed though, but remind me because I'll get into it. <laughs> but whatever it is, whatever the the subtleties, the ways that we create artwork, it doesn't really matter. Whatever it is, it's all good. As long as we continue. We stay there. Don't let anybody tell you whatever you're doing is wrong. Art has no place for that. There is strategies, there's techniques or whatever, but it's just, it only means that someone figured out how to observe a certain thing. It doesn't mean that whatever you're doing, you eventually won't learn how to observe and put your own je ne sais quoi into the art or into the canvas. I mean. It's just the way we are. We're slightly different. And that is okay. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be coming up with new awesome videos, little streams, light going everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.